Okay, so after going over that Doom sort of game that I made a long time ago, I thought of this game that I really liked when I was younger, um, that was really inspiring to me, and I remember finding it off VB Code, and I was able to find it, even though the name, I knew it was Samurai Scroll, but it, the name wasn't here, but I was able to find it by browsing backwards from 75. So this is a game that I was just like blown away by when I was 13 by Jesse Acosta, who has an ICQ number. How do I start? No, I don't even know. Can I start the game? <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you got uh, some seconds, and you go into town. It's like, uh, your sensei has become ill. Go find some scrolls. And then you just move around this world. And I just, this is, I mean, pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> it's still visual basic, but... I just, I was so in love with this game, I just like daydreamed of being able to make something like this and like couldn't figure out how to do it and I mean this sort of thing would just be so easy to do these days. Uh, let's see, there's a scroll. Do I need to just take that to the master? I don't remember. There's all these people. I guess you talk to them later? Okay, uh, oh, that was it? I have found the sacred scroll and now I am an awesome samurai master. And I just reset the game by hitting enter, but I was wondering how I could talk to these people. I know there has to be a way. Okay, enter just restarts the game. There's the scroll, I I'm already master. Okay, well, she's not talking to me, but you got this around here. I wonder if he stored the map file separately. I don't see it. And there's other songs, but they're not playing. Uh, and I don't even think I have Visual Basic installed, but we can still like view the code, I think. I don't remember which one's the code files. So just kind of uh, set up files. can see some different uh, different variables declared, some form properties. Um, man, how did he store? Oh, there, there's the map. Uh, he just stored it, I guess, as an array and had different types, where each letter represents a type of tile and stuff like that. Yep. Here's some VB code for you for making a little RPG. Anyway, that was just, I thought I would point that out. I have other nostalgic old games, but I can't find them anymore. Like, there's a... This isn't the thing. It's not Stick Dude. It was another platformer with the stick figure guy, but he was blue, and I don't know. I could never beat the game, but I just thought it was, like, the best thing ever when I was younger, when I was starting out with Allegro. Let's see, we're about to die here. Up. <laughs> oh no, I'm too late. I have failed. My only hope is through Sapuku, except I can still move around. And negative one seconds. But yeah, that's just a, I guess, a little bit of my past and some of the inspiration. Um, let's see. I think, I know another game I really liked was sort of Fargo. This one right here. And I just like kind of spent a ton of time on Allegro CC when I was a, not a kid, I guess I was a teenager, but I just would play through all the games and be so impressed by everybody and yeah, good times.